Hi, Nick. Thanks for coming to class on time. Where's Elizabeth? You could look at mountain ranges. We could look at Chinatown in San Francisco or Chicago, an area in the city that has... Hey, hey, I have a question. Hey, 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 I have a question. Hey, hey, question. That was a really good point, Godfrey. I totally agree. That was like the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Like, this is embarrassing. So embarrassing. <laughs> Quit whining, baby. A surprising variety of life forms are also adapted to extreme environments. For example, on the ocean floor, where pressures are extreme and no light penetrates. That's a wonderful point, Miss Michael. Thank you for teaching me math today. Yeah, you good. I I have a question. Hey, hey. Mr. Shaw, do you want to see my pet? I just got it. I just got my dog. You want to see him? That has nothing to do with math. I don't care. He said I could ask a question. X squared, where did X squared come from? That's because it's long. All right, great. We now know that the equation of a line is this, so therefore the equation of a tangent line would be the same exact equation. It's just we have the slope of the tangent line. The problem is, it's very hard to find the slope of a tangent line without... Now, now I would like you to go ahead and get out your, uh, your journal that we will be working on today. And I want you to open up the page number five, and that is where we're going to start working on our assignments. Oh, good job, Beth. That's wonderful. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I need you to get out your notebook so that we can start our journaling process. Mom! Mom, do you know where my notebook is? I need you to. I don't. You're being very distracting. Mom, did you buy my notebook? I need it for Miss Bagnall. I know you don't like her, but still. <laughs> That's really mean. Oh, this is old. You. 